What is up guys? In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how you can read a stock chart. Everything you need to know to get you going and get you up to speed on that. We're gonna use a free resource today that I debuted in a different video yesterday. If you remember that, it's called Yahoo Finance. You can chart for free on this site. I'm gonna switch my screen here and we'll get you guys going and get you a view of what it looks like. So back to, if you remember from yesterday, Yahoo Finance here, you can type a company up in the top. I'm just gonna click on Tesla right here to get up to the company page. And we wanna to go to chart or full screen here. Let's click on chart and open up the chart page and get you started with how it looks. Wait for it to load. I'm actually gonna click full screen here. That's a pretty good view, but we're gonna zoom it in and we'll get you we'll get you going. So this is a basic stock chart and a couple of things that are gonna be on pretty much every stock chart that you're gonna read. It's gonna have the, the, the company or the ticker symbol at least in the top left with the price, the actual movement of the stock for that day or the, the whatever it is, the index fund, ETF, whatever it is, and the percentage move for that day. It's also going to show you the price along the blue line on the line chart as it moves across. It's going to change the price and you can have crosshairs on the page like I do that are calling out the date at the bottom and the price on the right. But you also have this little legend over here to help you out and see the price action as you move across in time. On the right hand side of the chart, the right, I guess it would be called the X X or Y axis, I can't remember from my grade 10 math, but that's the axis there. And it's gonna give you the price of the stock. And as you zoom in or out, it's gonna change as well. See how we zoomed into a range of a few a few, a few uh, months here on the bottom, but the stock price moves and as you zoom out, because the stock has made different moves, you're gonna have a bigger range of prices up there. It's gonna change. And you can zoom all the way out over time, all the way to when the stock first debuted back in 2015. So we're showing at the bottom is always time. Right now we're showing six years of data. If you scroll in with your mouse, it goes uh, more day by day. Now we're only showing about a month worth of data. You can also change this at the top. Right now we're showing one year. You can go two years, you can go five years with Yahoo Finance, max it out all the way down to one, one day, five day, one month. Let's go back to one year though. And it's worth noting that right now, every point on this chart, like the line graph is showing the closing price of the stock for each day. So the interval is one day. If you change it to one minute, it's showing you the stock price minute by minute, and you can see how the, the bottom changed from days to actual time, from 12 p.m. to close at 4 p.m. And every day, every minute, sorry, is, is tracked on here time by time. You see the time going up by minute at the bottom. Now, if you change that back to, let's say, an hour, you might go back, and now we're gonna get into a longer time frame again. We go from f a few hours to uh, just over, just under a month of data here, or just over a month of data. And again, it's every hour by hour at the bottom of the stock price, you're seeing the shift. So you can customize that to your liking. I like to leave it at one day. And I would recommend you do the same as a starter with a one year time frame uh, for your chart. The other thing I wanna mention here, I'm gonna close this off, we don't need that for now, is volume is tracked at the bottom of most charts. And volume is important because it gives you an insight into how active traders are with a certain stock. And the volume bar represents how many million shares were traded on any given day. Whether the price goes up or down, it is the same. It's just volume, total volume. You can see in the legend on the far left over here, the volume does change and it's millions of shares for bigger companies. It won't be quite as high for smaller, less traded companies, but the spikes in volume are represented by these longer bars here down at the bottom. And red days mean days the stock price moved down and green days are when the stock price moved higher or made newer gains. Other things you wanna note is that you can change this line to other represent other things. You can change it from a line to an area. You can change it to a candle where red and green candles represent down days on red, up days on green. I'll show you how to read candlesticks in a different video. You can use hollow candles, you can use bars, and you can use colored bars. So there's lots of different options. I'm a candlestick guy myself. I like to use candlesticks uh, to get a little bit better picture of what's going on versus a line chart. But line charts are super easy to read as well and totally usable for beginners and veterans alike. Now, the last thing I wanna show you here is how you can add some indicators to your chart. Now, let's add a moving average and see what it looks like on the chart. So we've added the 50-day moving average, and that's just giving you an average price at the close of the past 50 days. And every day that moves forward, it adds on one more day of data. It just gives you an idea of where the price had been and where maybe it's going. And let's put 200 on there as well, just to give our chart some more color. You can see the 50 day is pink or purple and the 
200 day is the light blue and they're added in the top left as part of the legend as well and you can see them now as you change your time horizon on the bottom other things you can add you can add other indicators maybe some rsi or bollinger bands let's put that at the bottom you can see that here below the volume you can track rsi with some over overbought and oversold areas and you can also add comparison to other companies and you can add events like dividend stock splits or even earning dates on some of these charts to give your chart a better feel you can kind of just customize it the way you want and the name of the game is you want to be able to learn to read these charts and see where the stock price may or may not go it helps you make your hypothesis when you're making your trades and gives you the ability to defend yourself defend the trades to your future self because you made a setup based on a technical uh, framework that a chart was showing you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to know more go ahead and check out my other videos or go to www tradingoptionsdaily.com to get started. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.